I'm right now with Michael Oliveri. He has muscular dystrophy, but he's also started a site called MikeyWheels.com to inspire people through his experiences. Hey. Hello, hello. So tell people, what is muscular dystrophy? Uh, muscular dystrophy is a muscle degenerative disease. Uh, I'm pretty much lacking dystrophin, mm -hmm. which is one of the elements that helps rebuild muscles. So when you guys work out and build muscle, uh, the dystrophin helps to build muscle. When I use my muscles, the dystrophin's not there, so my muscles kind of die. As you can see by my biceps, triceps, and etc., I'm pretty skinny. And if I take off my shirt, it's a scary sight because uh, I'm all skin and bones. So it's, it's, a, it's a weird muscle disease. But it affects the heart and lungs, unfortunately, as well. So Why did you start Mikey Wheels? Mikey Wheels started because, um, straight up, I had no money, and I was broke, and I, I wanted to uh, try and see if I could uh, try to get some donations from, from, from the world, because uh, I was looking for my family, and I wasn't getting it at the time, because uh, the reason why I needed to come out to California um, was for marijuana, because it uh, is pretty much the only thing that keeps me living. Keeps me eating, keeps me feeling good. Um, uh, I was on morphine for two and a half years before that, and I almost died, so I'm not doing that anymore. And uh, that's why I left New Jersey. So Mikey Wheels was pretty much a donation website that turned into a video blogging, uh, vlogging, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm not so sure about the terminology, but I kept getting emails from around the world, and I did an interview with the Washington Post and various other inter uh, newspapers and. It just kind of got out of, you know, for me, out of control. You know, I just, I'm not used to this kind of life. So Mikey Wheels is pretty much, a, I continue to just, if pe people ask me to make videos, people ask me to blog, people ask me to just share my life, and they write to me, and they tell me about how much it's changed their life. And for me, that's an honor, and, and it's a true privilege to live, and I don't really think that I do anything to deserve it, but uh, it's what it is, and uh, that's why I continue to do it, so. You're completely self-sufficient here in this apartment, pretty much. Uh, self-sufficient, no, I can't, I can't do very much by, my, uh, by myself. I can't make everything by myself. Food has to be kind of on the counter and ready to go, unless somebody's here to help me cook it and help me eat it sometimes, so. But you want to show us around yeah, and show I mean, us? Yeah, as, as far as the basics, essentials, I'm pretty self-sufficient. I um, only, in the past two weeks though, because I just got this equipment before that, I was uh, in need of help every day from a person. This lift over here, um, I kind of roll up to it. It goes under my arms and things go under my legs and I use remote control and lifts me up, but puts me in my bed and you know, that's that thing. It's kind of interesting. Um, and then the bathroom? The bathroom is, I got the same setup. I, was I almost was going to get a track to go from the bedroom to the bathroom, but it would have been too expensive. But the bathroom is the same setup. I have a lift that goes from here. And if I need to go into the shower, well, I mean, obviously I need to go into the shower, but when I need to go into the shower, I can just kind of do it the same way, you know, independently uh, with a remote, which is really great because my part of the reason why I wanted to move out to California was to live alone and, you know, see what I was made of and see what life was like because I was tired of watching all my friends get married and have kids and move on with their lives and I was still sitting in the same room while watching the same four walls and it drove me nuts and ever since I came out here, I've met so many of my, you know, idols, so many of my, you know, biggest musicians, uh, that I, I love music more than anything, and I've met so many of my idols, it, it's, it's, uh, it's been a dream, I've met Hugh Hefner, I've met, <laughs> I mean, if I start, if I start telling you everything that I've done in one year, you will hate me by the end of the conversation, because you'll just be very mad at me for doing all those crazy things, um, but I'm just happy to be alive, and happy to be here, and well, what message do you want to leave people? Why do you feel maybe people you know, are inspired by your story? It, it, I, the reason why I feel people are inspired by my story, I guess, is because I don't let anything get in my way. And I don't take no for an answer. I don't really give up. Um, I kind of, over, I, over the past year, just gone after everything I've ever wanted. And I've gotten it. And that's pretty much the message that I want to tell people is that go after your dreams. You know, don't give up. Try hard. Uh, and don't just try to do. Uh, because when you try, nothing happens. When you actually do something, that's when something actually becomes manifested and real. Uh, but pretty much, I've learned by testing myself over the past year that anything is possible. So I want to let you guys know anything is possible. And people told me living alone in California by yourself was going to be impossible. And here I am a year later. So everything is possible. And we can still follow all of oh, yeah, your yeah. adventures on your site. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's tough for me to get on there and, and, and do it because I'm disabled and, you know, it's hard to do things, but I, I get on there as much as possible and I share my life with, you know, whoever decides to watch. So 
Um, if you want to go, MikeyWheels.com, check it out and, and see what I'm up to, see where I've been. And if you want, you can follow my journey over the past year. It's been kind of interesting. So. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate it.